I'm Peter Smith. I am your host for the NCS Nightly News. Tonight we are doing a special on hot air balloons. The first use of balloons in the military was during the American Civil War. Professor Thaddeus S. C. Lowe built the first balloon with the Union Army Balloon Corps that he established and organized in the summer of 1861. The first balloon was the Eagle. Now to Tyler Petrie at the liftoff. Hello. I'm Tyler Petrie. I'm here at the takeoff of the Eagle. The Eagle was the first balloon of the Civil War. It was a Union balloon. Back to you, Peter. Thank you, Tyler. The first balloons were inflated with coal gas. Inefficiently, people walked them onto the battlefields. This was tricky because the balloons would only stay inflated for four days. For reinflation, they would be taken back to the city. Now we will talk to balloon generator expert, Liam Hudson. Hello, Peter. I'm happy I could be here tonight. I love talking about the history of balloons. Well, after coal gas, came hydrogen gas generators. They were much more efficient but more complicated. In a nutshell, it had a system of tanks constructed in it that converted iron and sulfuric acid to hydrogen. The best part about the new generators were they could be easily transported to any battlefield with the uninflated balloons. So no more traveling back and forth to inflate balloons? Exactly. Well, thank you Liam. We hope to see you again soon. We will be back in a minute with more on the history of balloons in the Civil War. McDonald's Bud Dum Bud Dum Bum. I'm loving it. Watch NCS News for full coverage of the Winter Olympics in Sochi. Hello and welcome back to the NCS Nightly News, Balloons in the Civil War Special. The first use of balloons was to make maps from high points. Commander of the Army of the Potomac, General McDowell, asked Lowe to bring his own balloon to the first Battle of Bull Run. Lowe also directed artillery fire using flag signals. This helped soldiers hit targets more accurately. Now here is Mary Hicks with more info on balloons in different areas of the U.S. Good evening, Peter. I am glad to speak about how balloons affected the North and the South. There was more success with the Union Army Balloon Corps in the battles than the Army of the Potomac. In the North, balloons were starting to be used less in the military. By August 1863 the Balloon Corps ended. Balloons were also used in the Confederate Army. They were used for carrying supplies. They had to make their balloons with colored silk dressmaking material. They had limited use because the buy supply of gas in Richmond, Virginia was infrequent. Both the North and South used balloons for military use during the Civil War and continued to do so together for the wars to come. Thank you, Mary. I hope we can see you again soon as well. Now before we go, I must explain the most important part of tonight's program. How the balloons affected America during the war. The balloons created a whole new way to communicate in warfare. You could give signals from balloons only your army would understand. They also started the Air Force in the South. They could be used to make maps for places where the geography was unknown. Balloons transformed America and had a great effect on warfare. Well that's it for tonight's program. I'm Peter Smith and this is NCS Nightly News. Stay tuned for coverage on the Olympics in Sochi. Good night.